To celebrate the king's birthday, the Prime Minister of Bhutan asks the country to each either plant a tree or adopt a stray dog. I'd do both if I was responsible enough. Adopt a tree sounds okay also. I don't know about planting a dog, am I wrong, or is this basically propaganda for the outside world? Such a cool country. Except when it came to their residents. A good portion, mostly those of Nepali origin who had been living there for generations, were driven out creating hundreds of thousands of migrants to the neighboring countries and the US. God that country has some weirdly wholesome moments, the man is a living legend. For most prime ministers, the task of running the country is enough. But not so for the multitasking prime minister of Bhutan, who spends his weekends at an operating table and tending to patients. Dr. Lota H. Herring was one of Bhutan's most highly regarded doctors before he entered politics last year, and while his prime ministerial duties occupy him during the week, on weekends he returns to the hospital as a way to let off steam. Some people play golf, some do archery, and I like to operate, Ch. Herring told AFP as he tended to patients one Saturday morning at Jigme Dorji Wangchuk National Referral Hospital, describing his moonlighting medical work as a distresser. I will continue doing this until I die and I miss not being able to be here every day, he added. Whenever I drive to work on weekdays, I wish I could turn left towards the hospital. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Thank you Ardian. Com slash world slash 2019 slash May slash 10 slash I like to operate Bhutan's PM spends weekends as a surgeon. What do they have to do with Elvis? Why is there a Indian Sean Hannity on the thumbnail? You are an Goswami. Plant a tree then in a few years the dog will have somewhere to piss. Please 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 do not share articles from Republic TV, they're not a good source of any information. In Ireland in the year 2000 every family was given their own tree, which was planted by the government in a millennium forest. Each family received a numbered certificate for their tree with a grid map showing the location of their tree should they wish to visit it. Instructions unclear. I have buried a stray dog. Arnab Goswami does bark like a dog. For those considering adopting a stray or a dog from the pound, understand that some may require more responsibility and care than a dog that was well cared for. Please research and understand the risk before adopting under these circumstances. Republic world, really? Op, if you're unaware of this, this media outlet is owned by a walking, talking, steaming pile of shit named Arnab Goswami, pictured. He's the most biased journalist currently working in India, doing the bidding of the ruling government, and his TV channel is nothing more than a mouthpiece for the fascist ruling party, namely BJP slash RSS. Apart from being a lapdog for fascists, his other hobbies include verbally abusing guests on his own show, flip-flopping on his views based on who he is profiting from, and calling the students of the country freeloaders, because universities are funded by the taxpayers' money. Avoid posting links from Republic World at all costs, because Arnab Goswami wouldn't know journalistic integrity if it bit him on the ass. I thought I would be safe from seeing Arnab's face here, I was wrong. I like how Arnab's pic shows up next to Stray Dog. Genocidal King uses birthday as an occasion to push a populace already overburdened to do public service, fix the title for you. Actually, I wanted gift cards. The King of Bhutan, probably. Side note, the website belongs to Indian right-wing media which spews hatred and violence. Sounds nice, but keep in mind that Bhutan has anti-LGBT laws. The penal code stated that same-sex sexual acts were punishable by a prison sentence of between one month to less than one year. Trees won't solve this problem. Arnab is taking over Reddit. Reddit wants to know. Why not both? And this is a negative carbon emission country. Anyone who knows anything about Bhutan would be laughing in disgust right now. I'd guess about 99% of you reading this comment right now don't even know where this country is. Asterisk read the comments, y'all are fucking retarded, for sure.